it's a sad, sad day. I never would have thought I'd be pulling Urza off of the old 550. Dad's been telling me we need to do something with the truck, so we're gonna try to clean it up and actually sell the old 550 here. And uh, so I gotta get the rest of my junk off of here. So a little bit about old Urza girl here. She, uh, she's been a, a really, really tough workhorse for her. Oh, the first five years of my business, pretty much. It rode on this truck for probably, if I would have kept running it this last year, it would have been five years. So she hasn't left this spot in five years. Y'all fixing to see some serious crap. So let's uh, let's get old ketchup fired up and pull this dude off. All right, go ahead, Daddy. It's 1,200 pounds. Back coming up. Don't look like it. I may have to get a bar. The bolts are still in it. The nuts are off. This side came up. Yeah, this side didn't though. Let me go grab a bar. Alright, get it on up under him. Alright, come on up with it. Yeah. A little bit. Keep coming. Oh. Is it coming up? Yeah, it's coming. Go ahead. Whoa, oh, hold on. Come on up. Yeah, keep coming. I like it leaning, ain't it? Yeah, that, it ain't well balanced. Go ahead. A little bit, a little bit. Right. Keep going. Hey, hey. Keep going. You got it. The oil drain thing's down through here. Yeah, that's probably what's snagging. Oh, it's coming. Coming, all right. Uh, let's see. Get that. What you got? Oh, that wire was up under. Yeah, I, I thought it went up under it. Uh, yeah, come on up with it. Rubbing something. Rubbing that piece there. On the other side, it's not working. Is it? Rubbing that bed. In front of it. You need to swing or? I don't know. It ain't hurting nothing. What's that wire going to? Probably going to the oh, that's alternator wire. That's what I use to charge. I got to cut that okay. or take it off. One, I forgot about that one. Uh, let me take it off. I'm gonna miss the crane. Pick it up. I ain't gonna make it in. Hit that hose. A little bit scary, all that weight up there, ain't it? Ever seen 1,200 pounds <laughs> rotate around? Oh man, that's cool. Put it over there. I will. I'll move it with the backhoe. Yeah, I'll go a little further. Do what? Needs a bath. Needs a bath? Whole truck needs a bath. Good lord, yeah, you ain't kidding. That looks like crap. Well, that's the first time she's been off in what, five years? Yes, sir. That, that welder's had a lot of miles on it. A lot of miles. Hmm, I almost feel bad. I shouldn't have let it get that bad. Air clean the bottom, dog. Yeah, I bet it's laying in the deck there. Oh, is it? Surprised it came with it. Yeah, I'd have, I'd be ashamed. Machine looked mint when I got it. Yeah, that hood's pretty bad pitted. It was already like that. 
Yeah, now that's new. Yeah. Poor old thing. I bet if it had gas in it, it'd crank right now. I bet you money it would. <laughs> Battery's hooked up. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's see if she'll turn over. Look at that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, it's a few days later. We're gonna do a, a mint old start, cold start on this old baby. Right now it's 37 degrees Fahrenheit and it ain't gonna get any warmer, don't look like. And uh, for you guys in metric, that's like, uh, what? About five, something like that. So this is Mississippi cold, so it's also 80% humidity. So anyways, I guess we'll go through all the little numbers, check your roll and all that. Oh yeah, good stuff. Let's see if she's got any water. So it's been, oh, back in the summer. There's a little in there, if you can see it, right there on the bottom. I think this joker's got pure antifreeze in it. All right, that's good. Oil and water, that's all you gotta check, right? Uh, the battery may not last long enough to get her to roll over, but we'll try it. I know it's out of gas, so. Uh, yeah, that ain't enough to crank it. All right, because the uh, spigot on the bottom here started leaking about the last year that I was running. So, yeah, so she's got a mag on there. I've had trouble with the mag, so she may crank, she may not. Um, it's amazing that thing ran with all that junk on there. Oh yeah, and I gotta put the uh, the air cleaner bottom there vibrated off. I'm gonna put that back on real quick. So we'll put some gas in it and I'll get that back on and she should fire right back up. She was a loyal old son of a gun, I know that. Here's six months, cold start. getting fire. I don't know what the problem is. You just don't want to run. Come on, baby. Run for me. You ain't never done this. Come on. Give me all you got. Full idle. <laughs>
gonna give this old girl an attempt here. This I have a lot of requests about this old welder, the old Big 40, and I know she hasn't ran in a year. So we'll give her a stab. I guess we'll check her vitals and all that jazz. You hear old Urza girl still just purring away over yonder. All right, let's see. It's got any arrow in it. Oh yeah, it's even full. That's what I'm talking about. Get in there. Ugh, ain't got no gas in it. Oh, oh, good lord. Ugh. That don't look great. A little rusty. Yeah, it'll run on that. Ugh. I don't think it has any trouble with that. These red seals are great engines, in case you don't know. I Arguably, I would say they are the best flathead that was ever built. In my opinion, Let's see if she got any water. Ooh, she might be a little low. I can't see it in the neck. I know she's gonna need a battery, so uh, I could get one that maybe isn't too terribly bad. We'll see if she'll crank though. Let me turn the gas on if it's already on. She's not as easy to crank as ours, if memory serves me right. But I'll see if it'll run with that god awful gas in it. The gas is on, I think. Ooh, that's spongy. Uh, no, yeah, I think the gas is on. I don't feel good. I don't have high hopes. We'll try it though, I'm not scared. Let me go put the battery in and we'll go from there. So the only thing different on this red seal it has no mag it's got a distributor on it so we may have to work on that a little bit contact battery's weak oh and the choke's screwed up uh i'm gonna need both hands for this one i'm scared all right hold on a second Let's see if she's getting any fuel. Oh, man, I got a box of junk here in the way. Uh, seven sixteenths, he says. Oh, great. Uh, Whoever come up with ethanol gas, you go shoot yourself in the. You know what I wanted to say. Because this stuff is the bane of a gas burner's existence. You know, I like this old machine, but it ain't got no fight in it. Motor runs pretty decent in it. I mean, real good, actually, but. She just, anytime she sits, she don't do good. Now don't get me wrong, anything that sits don't do good, but y'all guys that work on stuff know what I'm talking about. Man, you can have something, you can ride that thing hard and put it up wet and, and you know, just dog every little guts out of it and everything like that, and it's fine, you know? Yeah, that's not gonna plug up. Oh gosh, man. Let me fiddle around with the uh, with the uh, uh, cutoff thing over here. Let's see if I can't get it to let some gas loose. Okay, so here is the filter, the rust separator is what I like to call them. I guarantee you the fill neck is plugged up because this line right here with the inline filter in it is off. And we ain't getting zippity doo dah out of there. I'm tempted to take this off, the bottom here, and see if we get any fuel come out. But, you know what? You only die once, right? Let's get a pair of pliers and take it off. I wonder if y'all can see it. 
y'all got a shot of that bird that just flew by, landed almost on top of the camera. Dang, mocking birds. I smell gas. It smells like varnish. Oh, that's good and stuck. Alright. We about to go to plan B. Let's just take the whole bottom off. Plan B. You know, I probably should be working today. I got stuff I could be doing, you know, with equipment that actually works, but oh, it's a lot more fun to work to screw around with something that, that needs to be a summertime job. Let me get any gas. Let me get my big fat head out of the way. Look at that. I ain't drop a gas yet. Nothing. Good lord, still nothing. She plugged up bad. Uh oh. Alright, we're fixing to run into a, a dilemma here. So there's no gas coming out of here yet. I guarantee you when I pull it out, it's going to start leaking. So I might ought to go get a plug. I'm going to go do that. All I wasted a bunch of film. All right, can y'all still see? Kind of, sort of. All right, I'm gonna pull it out, see how much crap flows out of there. Yep. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Ooh, that gas is cold. I went and got that plug now. Ugh. All right. So, I take it, all of our problem is right, you know. Ugh. I wish y'all, y'all guys that work on old stuff, y'all know what varnish gas smells like. Yep, that's definitely what we got going on here. All right, let's go clean this turd out. Let's take this little dude apart. I think the only problem we really got is in this. Let's turn my deal here. Take that off. We gotta be able to get to something. Seven sixteenths. This may turn into more work than I want to do today. Oh great. Round it off, eh? You're shitting me. This is the kind of junk you run into. It ain't standard, it ain't metric, you just gotta beat a metric on there. Get on there, you Mickey Mouse piece of junk. Man, I don't wanna come off. Fits too good. matter with you now, huh? She's a wee bit stuck. Come on for your wrench. There. Looks like something else got it. some of our problem there. Take a look at that. 
Can you see me? I didn't think so. Lots of junk in there. Alright. If I got any brake clean or not. Really don't want to take this bowl off. I don't have to. I'm surprised it ain't just fell off. You got any brake clean, Daddy? Alright. Good o ring pick, too. Okay, Let's see what kind of goodies we got in here. I think I tore the gasket. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, I don't think all that's supposed to be in there. Yeah, we definitely got some junk growing in here. Take a look at that. Well, that looked great. Mmm. Varnish, man. Varnish is rough. At this rate, we are pretty much pooched. This is when you go to the store and get a new one of these. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, there's, I got some some bullshit going on here, but uh, we're gonna go with it because uh, we can. So, I really don't want to cut this off. I'm hoping this will fit, but it may not. I think it will. May not seal up worth the crap, but we'll go with it. Oh, there we go. All right. Sometimes you just gotta gotta do what isn't right. So you know you did a a professional job at it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, look at that. That looks great. All right, let's tighten her up and we'll see if she leaks. So, you know, Redneck's been working on it. So, we got no, no sediment separator. We got no, uh, we got a plastic fuel cut off here, and I just flipped over the uh, the tank deal for my barb. So yeah, this is this is turning out most excellent, if you know what I mean. Come on, thing, don't make me go get a socket. It's cheap crap. There we go. All right, let's try her out. See what happens. Should have some fuel. What she's gonna do. We got fuelage yet? Oh yeah, nothing but the finest over there. Good lord. Stuff looks like piss. It's coming out of somebody that's uh, got kidney failure. Oh lovely. Just let some of that drain out of there for a minute. Cut it off. This line back up. At least it works. Mm. She'll run on it. These Red Seals are good little engines, without a doubt. And of course, now that I've repositioned this, the line's bent in the wrong dead gum direction. Huh. Let me turn the gas on, and we'll be ready for tank take two. Kneeling all the gas, be fine, be fine. <laughs>
check spark again. <clears throat> Make sure we got spark. Ugh. Let's look at the distributor. I'm sure the points are got some crap on them. Still not out far enough. Oh, you're out far enough. There we go. Oh, great. Well. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a little corroded up. Uh, good bit corroded up. Uh, let's look at our points here. I wouldn't doubt the coals out or something. Uh, they look a little fried there. Let's go get a piece of emery paper and see if I can't Let's help her out a little bit. See if oh, yeah. We got a spark going to the coal. I don't know if y'all could see that. So that's a good sign. So the points must be a little filed up. Oh. Alright, shine this little baby up. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's definitely hot. Scared me. Oh, I'm getting all kind of sparky action. It's good. Key's still on. I could turn it off, huh? Oh, pretty hot spark. It's good. Run, you bastard, run. I bet the carburetor stopped up. It's probably the majority of it. better all right Let's see if we get any sparky sparky action from the points now y'all see a spark because I couldn't need a starter button the so solo man 9000 uh, can't see anything it's pretty close to see if we got contact Woo, hot. Come on, open for me. Dang, I may have to watch the video, see if I did get spark. Well, we're running out of daylight fast. I'm gonna have to jump this thing off, I'm scared, so. In the spirit of cranking old stuff, let's see if the old Deerbrook will fire up. It's got a little bit of a combination to her. Likes to bleed down. So she'll crank it up again. Door handle on the outside don't work. She's a pretty man old girl, but sometimes she's not.
water hooked up to old ketchup over here, so you may be a little hard to hear me. We're gonna give her a little bit of start, you bastard. Uh, uh, see if we got something. This carburetor's not hard to get off. I just, I don't know, it's getting late in the day. She did run though, but I guarantee you everything that we saw in that collector bowl is in that carburetor too. Ain't no telling what I'll find. Um, Cause it's definitely not flooding. So I, I guarantee you it's packed full of crap. But uh, yeah, she did get up, just didn't didn't do what I wanted it to do. I thought it would be a lot easier to get it going, but apparently not. Heck, I'll take that carburetor off. Give me a few minutes. Okay, so we found all kinds of questionable crap in the carburetor here. Clean the floats back up. Clean this intake off here. Alright, so the float, or the needle seat had quite a bit of schmoo on it and all kind of good stuff shoot a little bit of diesel fuel on it put this little turd back in here all right Needle cleaned up pretty good as long as it slides good is the main thing. So you want everything to be nice and easy to move and all that jazz. We'll test it good with the float. So if you can see the needle right there. See how when you push it up, well, it's not sticking now. Well, there it goes. Well, she's gonna work, but sit there and shake it and just work it back and forth a good bit. And eventually, she'll stop sticking. Just keep shaking it and working it. There we go. That's why sometimes you can beat on a carburetor and it'll keep it from sticking. So. There you go. Alright. Let me uh, fix the bottom part here. Because it's got all kind of nice stuff in it. I haven't touched this yet. You can see all the nice crusties in there. Kind of looks like sawdust. An old varnish. Um, I probably ought to take this jet out right here. This one. And make sure it's okay. But Yeah, I might ought to do it. Quit being lazy. Because a carburetor, I'll be honest with y'all, if you ain't taking it off like four or five times, you didn't do something right. Surprisingly, this one's pretty clean. I'm gonna blow it out anyways. So that's your main your main jet. Best way to do it is cap the inner here and blow in from this end. here you gonna blow all the trash out of them yep do it. Man. moment of truth guys I got the car back on I'm gonna turn the gas on I have a little left start, you bastard left. Yeah, I got a little bit. All right, let's go. Come on, baby, crank. Let's see if I got any more. It's probably gonna flood.
It's running on its own gas, but it ain't good. Carburetor's probably still a little stopped up. <laughs> Look at that. Got some, uh, if you can see it there, got some frost there on the uh, carburetor. I guess all that uh, ether I was shooting in there. She definitely runs, but that carburetor still stopped up. She wants to run with a choke on. But uh, yeah, no doubt. A year. That ain't bad. It's especially everything that was wrong with it. But, uh, yeah, that's probably as far as I'm going to take her tonight. All right, guys. I got the hood back on and everything like that. I got the intake pipe. That's probably going to call it for this project. These, getting these going, I guess. But uh, I'm going to crank her up one more time and see if she'll run under her own power. That old punky gas and all that kind of stuff. So, oh, and choke her one more again. See what she got. guys that's probably gonna wrap it up I had one more old start I wanted to do which was a 1942 in the mid early 40s Hobart welder y'all may have seen it behind Urza here a little bit earlier but uh she's pretty shot I don't know it's got a new carb on it but nothing works on it fuel tanks rotted out uh, radiators rotted out it's, it's got a lot of trouble but I would like to see if it I mean it's not stuck so I'd like to see if it would crank. But uh, leave a comment down there if you want to see that old girl get up and go. But uh, we definitely did some good here today getting these two babies going. Once again, guys, if y'all like this video, share it with your friends. Anyways, long story short, guys, take care. I'll see y'all next time. And from here, from Classic Work, God bless.